Hey everyone, it's Havas with the Havas Coin YouTube channel, and today I'm here to show you how to modify the BIOS settings of your motherboard for optimal mining settings, including adding additional GPUs to your motherboard. Specifically, we're going to be showing this on Gigabyte motherboards here today. So here's the kicker. This Gigabyte board, which will be impossible to see with these cards on it, but it only has six PCIe slots. So how are we gonna put seven cards or more on this? Well, it has an M2 adapter slot, or an M2 slot. So we're gonna use an M2 PCIe adapter and we're gonna run a PCIe uh, riser out of that. So that's gonna easily allow us to do seven cards. So step one, we're going to head over to this specific site on Gigabyte. Okay, they're supportive of mining and they have this page up. I'll have a link in the description of the video. So we're gonna go down here all the way to the bottom and you're gonna grab whatever motherboard you have. This tutorial is specifically on the Z270P D3. However, you can translate this to all the other boards basically, and it's gonna be relatively the same. While I'm showing you this tutorial on a Mac, it's gonna be the exact same process on a Windows computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, and I'm just going to save this. After you've downloaded the file, you're gonna make sure to extract it, and you're gonna be left with this. So you're going to simply take this file and drag and drop it into your USB drive. I've already put it there, so this is gonna be exactly what you need. That's it, that's all you have to do for the USB portion. Nothing more, nothing less. So you're gonna to wanna to start your monitoring rig and hold F12 at the same time. You can do this at any point in your build. Personally, I did mine at the end here. You're gonna to wanna to click down and go into enter setup. I only have the USB plugged in that has the BIOS update on it. I took my USB drive out that had SMOS loaded on it. Next, what you're gonna do is hit F8. F8 is going to bring you to QFlash. QFlash is going to give you the option to update your BIOS. You're gonna click Update BIOS and scroll down over here and highlight this file. This is the mining BIOS that you downloaded and put into this USB drive. You're gonna click enter, you're gonna click enter, and you're gonna have two options, fast, intact. You'll click intact, and it'll automatically go in here and start updating the BIOS. I didn't need to do this because this BIOS is already updated, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it again with you. So if when your computer reboots, don't break down, your PCIe function may just have switched, so Go ahead and put your HDMI cable into your cards and just boot up one by one. Um, you know, really it'll go off the primary PCIe slot. If you click F9, it'll bring up your system information. And when you look at your system information, you will see you have the correct BIOS, F88. That is the mining BIOS. So if we look at this, we want to change our uh, display output. It's better to have it on uh, IGFX. That'll just simply be plugging your HDMI input on your motherboard. So it's very simple. There's only one thing you need to do after you update the mining BIOS. You're going to come down here to CSM support. If you read the guide that Gigabyte has, and this may be true for Windows, but if you have CSM support disabled, which what the, is what the mining BIOS does, your SMOS drive will not boot. So we need to click that to enable, and you can leave everything the way it is otherwise. All you're gonna do is click over, 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 and what's well, one too many overs, and you're gonna save and exit setup. So you're gonna save your configuration and reset, yes. All right, so if you look quickly at the top, you can see GPU zero to six. That means that all seven GPUs registered. So, well, <laughs> these are probably the correct settings. To kick it off, I set the core clock and the memory clock both at plus 100 or simply 100, 100 in simple minor as shown here with a power limit on the watts of 125 and you can see that this is going to give us our baseline you always want to start with the baseline and work your way up on our baseline we're pushing thir basically 3100 souls and our souls per watt is 3.5 so right off the bat these are very good respectable numbers in my opinion but something that we will be able to improve upon Again, you can use these settings with anything, but we're using Simple Miner here today. If you want to learn how to set up Simple Miner with NVIDIA cards, here's my tutorial on it. And other than that, it's just really this simple to add a seventh card or potentially more to your Gigabyte board. And just for reference, 
This is what 200 core looks like with 1000 memory and 125 watts. You can see we've upped the output of this mining rig to about 3300 souls. This is a pretty good spot. I'm going to leave this to make sure this setting is stable, but I'm confident that this is going to be stable based off the fact I've been watching this for, you know, maybe an hour or so. There you guys have it. It's that easy to update the BIOS in your Gigabyte board to the mining BIOS and adjust those settings to use SMOS or whatever operating system you'd like to mine with. And uh, yeah, so make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel. The full build on this mining rig will be coming tomorrow. And also check out uh, Crypto Chick behind me gaming like a total nerd. What a nerd. Make sure to subscribe, guys. We'll see you next time. So fragile. Like it was built to break off the handle. How'd we get to this place? We're leaving everything behind for new and exciting feelings. But I won't leave you. Will everything we know be lost and changed for something new? Only time.